Hello everybody, I'm Frostbite. Hope you're having a wonderful day. Today, I'll be telling a funny story that happened when I was a figure skater. So, just to give you guys some terms, there is public skate and freestyle skate time. On certain days of the week, the ice would be available for the public to skate on. They could rent skates and try out the ice for fun. These days were called public skate. However, on other days, the ice was reserved for the professional figure skaters such as myself. These days were called freestyle. Basically, freestyle skating is when all the pros could come on the ice, have their lessons with the coaches, practice their routines, and could do dangerous stunts and moves such as spirals, camel spins, and jumps. We were not allowed to make these, however, among the beginners at public skate due to the beginners not knowing how to maneuver away from us and possible injuries. Sometimes I would skate on public skate to practice some very basic moves, which could not hurt anybody, of course. However, I would get very bored at doing this because it's just the same move over and over again. Now, I am by nature quite mischievous and I wanted to have some fun with the public skaters. I had a very sharp blades and so it was easy for me to make snow by scraping the ice. When you had enough of this snow, you could bunch it up into a snowball and throw it at people. So I scraped up the, scraped up the ice, made a snowball and threw it up at the ground. I made sure to do this in front of a bunch of little kids in order to start chaos. When I showed them, all of them followed suit and did the same thing. I minded my own business immediately afterwards in order not to attract attention that I had caused this and practiced some of those boring moves. After 10 minutes or so of showing those first kids, everybody started making snowballs. The kids, teenagers, and s even some of the young adults were making and throwing these snowballs at each other. The workers of the rink, who we call guards, were pretty upset that the that everybody was doing this. They were trying to make everybody stop, but nobody listened and continued to make their snowballs. I did this at every public skate session. I would scrape the ice, make it into a snowball, and throw it at the ground in front of some kids. I would skate away and practice some boring moves, and waited. Give it a few minutes and everybody on the ice were having an epic snowball fight. After a few weeks of this, the guards had had enough. They were sick of telling everybody to stop making snowballs. So, once when I walked into the skating rink, I saw a nice large sign hung on the wall explaining the rules of the ice. One rule stuck out the most, which were the following words in bold, DO NOT MAKE SNOWBALLS ON THE ICE. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you start chaos. Congrats! You made it to the end of the video! If you enjoyed the video, make sure it, to smash the like and subscribe button. It may seem simple to, do, to you, but it would truly make my day. Drop a comment down below as well if you've had a similar situation before. I have plenty of funny stories just waiting, waiting to be shared. Hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Bye!